family, it's your girl, Attorney Brudel Donald Che. Welcome to the prayer list. Now, this is God's baby. Um, I just wanted to um, spend more time praying for others because we can get so caught up in our own situations and problems that we just don't, you know, we don't pray for others the way that we should. And then we're like, God, bless me, bless me, bless me. Well, what happened when Job prayed for his friends? God blessed him with double. And so let's get in the mode in the same mind frame as Job to get blessed for double by praying for other people. So tonight we're going to kick off the prayer list with um, Cute Angel on Twitter. Says his cousin's brother has been kidnapped. We're praying for a safe return of his cousin's brother in Jesus' name. We're also going to pray for um, Kristen Montesen. Um, prayers for her granddaughter who lost her unborn child. This is a second miscarriage in this case. And so we're asking in Jesus' name for the Lord to bless her heart, mind, body, soul, and spirit. But more, most of all, to bless her with the child that she so desperately is um, wanting to give birth to. So we're praying for the birth of, and, and the body and her mental health. And we're praying for the Lord to bless her with the children that she's, that she's believing for. Um, we're also going to pray for the family of the mass shooting victims of Miami um, that occurred. We're praying, Lord God, for healing and wholeness. We're praying for the for those who have passed away to be rest in peace. And we're praying, Lord, that you will send peace that surpasses all understanding to the family of those who were killed by this mass shooter um, in uh, Miami. We're praying also for Beto Texan, who asked for a friend who's battling cancer praying for that friend to be healed and whole, praying for the doctors to come up with treatments or whatever is needed in order for her to be healed and whole. And we're praying for a miracle, really, in Jesus' name. And we believe in miracles on this channel. And we know that there's nothing God cannot do. And so we're praying also for um, Irene, who has a friend that she wants us to pray for. So we're going to pray for Irene's friend. We may not know the last name. But God knows the people who are asking for these prayers. So he knows who their friends are. He knows who they're asking for. We're also going to keep in prayer Trenton, Kyle, Jonas, and Cole, who we have been praying for. As you know, Trenton is battling cancer. Kyle had a, a, was in a terrible car accident. Um, Jonas, the baby Jonas, had RSVP and wasn't breathing and is in the hospital. We're praying for Cole, who... Um, who fell off that third floor and shattered his uh, heel and ankle and broke his back. And so we're praying for their complete and total healing, each and every one of them. We're praying also for the military families that lost loved ones as we remember them this Memorial Day. We do not take any of our freedoms for granted. We are living in the greatest country on the planet, the greatest country in the universe. And we want to keep our president, our vice president, and all of those who are operating in our government in prayer. We're praying for divine wisdom, divine leadership. We're praying that they be led by the spirit of the Lord and not the spirit of the Antichrist, okay? And so we're praying that. Now, there are people who say, oh, I'm not praying for him. I didn't vote for him. The Bible didn't tell you to vote for who you vote, to pray for who you voted for. I believe in 2 Timothy, it says we should vote, we should pray for those who are in power so that we can have tranquility and peace. So all of those Christians out there talking about, I'm not going to pray for Joe Biden. I didn't tell you to pray for Joe Biden. The Bible did. Now, will you pray for him? Um... We're praying for um, Tessa's friend who is pregnant. The doctors found an umbilical cord wrapped around that baby's neck. And we're praying for the survival of that child as well as um, for Tessa's health. Okay. We're praying also for the daughter of Bishop Reggie Witherspoon. His daughter was not able to walk. She's unable to move her left side and words are slurred. Um, they're asking for complete and total miraculous healing for their daughter. They're believing there may be an issue with something on the brain. But we're going to believe God who creates brains to heal her expeditiously and conclusively. Where people will know nobody did it but God. We're praying for Steve and Bernadette who are ill. And they're also, according to their friend, down on their luck. So we're praying for God to heal them, protect them, and deliver them. 
We're praying for Frances, who not well. The prayer request came from her daughter. We're praying for complete healing for her. We're praying for 32-year-old Josh. We need a prayer request from his mom. Um, she's in a very toxic relationship. Someone who had a perfect record, who's an excellent student, all-around great guy, is now fighting with domestic violence um, on his background and things like that. So we're praying for God to work and do a thing in Joshua's life exceedingly abundantly above all he could ask or think to remove every satanic influence, every satanic spirit operating around him that they that that spirit just goes and leaves him to the work that God has for him in Jesus name. Amen. We're praying for uh, Luke who has internal bleeding. Doctors don't know why. Low platelets, low sodium, shortness of breath, and seizures. He's three years old. So we're going to pray for him. We're going to believe God for a complete and total healing for Luke. We're praying for Aria, who was bitten in the face by a dog. Praying for her complete and total healing, that there won't be any scarring, or if there's scarring, very little visible, very visible, not really visible to the human eye. That's what her family's praying for. We're praying for Braylon. She's been sick about a week. Asthmatic cough, antibiotics and cough pills, steroids, nothing's working. And we're praying, this is her mother requesting for a miraculous healing and wholeness of Braylon in a quick, expeditious fashion. In Jesus' name, that's what we're believing for. April M. is asking for prayer for her mental health. We're going to believe God for we know the word says that God doesn't give us power. It's not a power um, he gives us power, love, and a sound. He does. He gives us power, love, and a sound mind. As you know, the day is weaning on. I've had a very busy day, as you can see. I'm not as energetic as I normally would be, but I'm so grateful to be doing this work right now. I'm so grateful to be of use, of be of service to the Lord. So April M needs prayer for her mental health. We believe in God for power, love, and a sound mind, which is what the Word says she has in Jesus' name. Amen. We're praying for Lynn King and her family. Um, they're facing eviction from their home after 22 years of living there. The landlord wants to sell the property and flip it, I guess. And so we're praying for the Lord, a safe place for, to have them a safe place to live and be in Jesus' name. Praying for the daughter of Michelle Avalar. Um, her 10-hour, oh, praying for the daughter of Michelle Avalar. And her 10-hour-old granddaughter, um, we're praying, Father God, Lord, that you will heal them and protect them of whatever is coming against them. We're praying for Kitty Chad, unspoken prayer request. Praying for um, the Van Wagoners family. A friend is asking for prayer because the mom has gone into a 24-week preterm labor. We're praying that that pregnancy will stay and keep until... Um, the child is full term. We're praying for uh, Keila Abi. She's praying for a job. She's saying she's broke and she's praying for a job in Jesus' name. We're praying for the Lord to bless her exceedingly abundantly above all she could ever ask or think. We're praying for seven-year-old Emma who's fighting migraines and has them almost every day. We're praying for Emma in Jesus' name. We're praying for the Lord to heal her mind, body, soul, spirit, heart and deliver her from those migraines in the name of Jesus. We're praying for ranches of New Mexico. Um, prayer request is from Annalise Du. Um, she's saying that they need rain. They need water. And so we're asking for the Lord to end that drought. Like the prophet Elijah um, asked for it to rain and it rained. We're asking for the Lord to cause rain to come down in New Mexico for the ranchers. We're praying for Connor who was in a bad ATV accident a couple of days ago. Um, that's Carla Capson who's asking for this prayer. We're also going to pray for Jen Johnson asking for prayer for her mom who has ovarian cancer. We're praying for Leslie Davis who's asking for prayer for her friend Brenda. Brenda beat cancer after a five-year battle and now she's in the battle of her life with the COVID-19. So we're praying for her complete and total healing and recovery. We're praying for Joanne Whitmer, asking for prayers for her 32-year-old son-in-law who has synovial sarcoma. He has metastasized with, into his lungs. It's been a five-year battle for him. He just finished the surgery. They found some um, things in his body, a tumor that they had to remove. And so we're asking God for healing and wholeness for each and every person that we have prayed for. We're praying for miraculous divine intervention on behalf of each and every person we have prayed for. Please know that if there's anyone that you'd like for us to add to the prayer list, 
please feel free to DM me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. You can also um, email me. But contact me. Let me know. Brunel Donald. I better not put my email out there. <laughs> but you can DM me, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and I will definitely add them to the prayer list. God bless you. God bless your family. 